Hi children, how are you? Today we are going to, to study the storm. Lesson two, unit one by Roe Collar. Its genre is realistic fiction. Realistic fiction means it's a made-up story that could happen in real life. So real means something real or true and fiction is something imagined. It's imagined a story, but it can happen in real life. Its title is The Storm. Let's see what's going to happen in the storm. Pop has come in. Look, he is wet. Why do you think Pop is wet? Look outside, it's raining. So Pop is wet. Tim and Rip ran to him. Tim and Rip ran to him. Tim, Rip and Pop have fun. Tim had to go to bed. What did Tim and Rip see? Uh, what do you think? Look at this. It's lightning. So, Tim become afraid from lightning and the sound of storm. Tim hide in his bed, Rip hide too. Look what Pop had done for Tim. Tim had a sip. Pop had a hug for Tim. He had a hug for Rip too. So, to make Tim feel calm, uh, what does Pop do? He bring for him a sip of water and he hugged him and Rip too. Pop sat with Tim and Rip till they fell to sleep and everything became okay. Let's dig deeper. We have in this story some characters and characters are the persons who are presented in the story like mm, Pop, Tim. And we have Rip the dog. Actions. What happened in the storm? First of all, Pop came wet. So it was raining. Then they played together and Tim and Rip went to sleep. What happened? Tim listened to the voice of the storm and thunder. And he saw the lightning. So he became afraid. Pop. Uh, Pop entered the room with a sip of water and he hugged them hard so they feel comfortable. Those are the actions. Let's take a look on our new words. Here we have he. He. For boys, we can say he. For girls, we can say she. He walked across the street with his friends. Look. Children look at water from the firehouse. Look. Look means to see. Have. We have fun seeing the fast fire truck. Have fun. Or have something. You may have a pet. For example, like a dog or cat. Four. The doctor had a kind smile for Anne. Two. They took hats and the sunblock too. Another example, the girl enjoyed the session and the girl too. What? What do people do to help you feel safe? What? Like in what's your name also? It's a question word. Let's have a look on the grammar. Possessive nouns. When I want to say that something belongs to someone, for example, a man's hat, so this hat belongs to this man. This is what I mean by possessive. One boy's bed, so I mean that this boy has a bed. This bed belongs to this boy, so I add apostrophe, apostrophe. So one boy's bed, a dog's ball. So this ball belongs to the dog. So I add here apostrophe and S. One cat's tail. Okay, let's take a look on the narrative writing. Narrative writing. Here we have 
some pictures and we want to label them. This is my family, a castle we made. We saw a fish. We should, we found shells. So this is our trip to the beach. You can also tell or narrate something that happened to you in real and draw some pictures and try to label them. Maybe a picnic or a day on the beach or some place you would like to go with your friends. Something real. You can narrate something real. This is what we mean by narrative writing. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.